Hi guys and welcome back to this very active YouTube channel. Most active YouTube channel in the world. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. Let's talk about this tiny little watercolor palette that I made over the last two, three weeks, maybe something about this time. So yeah, let's get started. We all agree that tiny versions of normal sized things are way better than the normal sized things. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. So today <laughs> let's talk about how I shrank this big chonka into this tiny little watercolor palette, which still holds the same 12 colors that this big chonka is holding. Okay, so I made this tiny little thing by um, just upcycling a tiny little box that I had. This was originally holding paper clips, I think. Yes, I believe it was paper clips. Yeah. But if you have a tiny box like this at home and maybe a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer, you can make the thing too. And this big mapa chunker and this tiny guy hold the same amount of colors. This is really tiny. It's six by six centimeters, which I believe is about two and a half inch both ways. Um, compared to, I don't, I don't really know the dimensions of this thing, but as you can see, it's way bigger. So it's uh, really easier to pack and take with me. I haven't tested it yet, but I believe I will do in the next few days. I believe it's about two to two or three centimeters high. The lid is detachable. Let's remove it. And inside you just have these 12 colors. It's the same colors that you have in the Diraglia watercolor palette, which you might know from school and might still have laying around as the dye, because this one is the, the OG watercolor. I used for 12 years when I was in school and it still held this much color. I do believe some of the colors are empty now, but it doesn't really matter because I don't really intend to use the big one. If everything is going to plan, I will just continue to use these small colors right here. You can see the colors and you might be aware that some of the colors has a little hole inside. If you just flip it over, the colors itself will come out. They are inside of this little tray that I 3D printed. I made the model myself. But I will put it onto Thingiverse if you, if you want to print it out for yourself. Just go there, download it. It's free as it should be. Yeah, but make sure you have the correct size because <laughs> this was the first, not the first, not the second, but the third attempt at printing the thing. I have two, two other things laying around. One was just scaled too tiny because it was not five by five centimeters, but just five centimeters and it was too tiny and was wiggling around all the way. The second attempt was a little too big. It did not fit into the case, so I shrank it by uh, one millimeter tinier. And yeah, now I have this one. I worried that um, the, the color that I put in there would um, bleed through the thing and just seep out of the edges. Please, really, please don't judge me. I also take some DNA polish and just go into each of these tiny little trays and, and just paint all of the insides on this little tray. Try to make sure that it will hold the color inside of there with um, a, even a little bit of water mixed in. So now that we have waterproofed this thing, it was time to transfer the colors. This took way longer than I expected. Um, I decided on, I decided to have 12 colors because that's what the original palette also had and I don't, didn't want to mix any colors. 12 colors really it's plenty you can do a lot with 12 colors yeah so what i did was just um, take the og palette i just have one brush that has a little water container on the part where you hold it so it was easy to have just a little water inside of each each palette and then wiggle it around and try to get as much color and as much color and as much pigment as possible into these little trays yeah and that's about it I thought at first, but as the color was drying, it lost the water contents and what, what's left over is just a pigment. That's what you want. It was not as much pigment as expected, so I had to go a second time and refill everything and wait for it to dry again. So I went again and again and again and again. I didn't count really how many times because sometimes I was just filling up six of the trays while the other six were drying. So I don't have a definite number how how many rounds it took to for all of this pigment to get in of here and even now you can still see there's there's still some space there's there's still this little hole in the middle and you could get more pigment in here if you tried but at this point i'm really done because this process was already taking two weeks at this point i just decided this is enough i know that it does not look as, as aesthetically pleasing as these little um tiny gouache containers you can see online uh, which have just this nice 
smooth color inside and I just want to take this with me, go travel somewhere and crank it out and do some kind of funny watercolor stuff. And yes, and that's what it's gonna do. So yeah, if you wanna make this little watercolor container for yourself, there's my Thingiverse template online. If your container happens to be square, just um, download it and scale it up or down, depending on what you see. It does hold a lot of pigment. Um, it doesn't have much surface area, but it goes down really deep. I believe it's a centimeter deep, which is about twice as deep as the uh, OG palette goes. Yeah, if you're downloading my Thingiverse thing, um, just scale it up or down as needed and print it and you're good to go. Still not sure if I'm going to, what I'm going to do with the lid with the lid because it's detachable and I kind of fear that I will lose it at some point because it's also clear and when it's gone I believe it's gone so I'm not sure if I will just glue it onto this like a sort of hint to have some sort of like a hint um hmm, not sure yet <coughs> but what I've also seen some people online was just um cut up a tiny sponge and just place it into the lid to just have some place to dry off the brushes and maybe even mix some colors. Um, yeah, but for now that's just 12 tiny watercolors inside of a um, safety pin container. And I'm quite happy with it. So if you want to make your own, um, yeah, so if you want to make your own, there's so many ways to personalize it. Um, you can add a sponge here, you can uh, print another one of these out and add it to the lid to fit even more colors. You can even, you could even print 3d print these two times and stack it on top of each other because um, there's definitely enough room to fit a second one inside of here to have 24 colors if you're if you're really crazy um, or if you have a container lying around with um, some sort of open foldable lid you can just yeah use it to your advantage so um, if you like this tiny little watercolor container and would like to make it for yourself, just hop onto Thingiverse, download the model yourself, print it out, print it out, and you can yourself enjoy this tiny little watercolor. And you yourself can enjoy this tiny little watercolor container travel kit. Um, and you yourself can enjoy this tiny little watercolor con And you yourself can enjoy this tiny little watercolor travel kit. Yeah, okay. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Thank you very much. If there's anything you would like to say, drop it in the comments below. You know the drill. And if you want to see more, subscribe, please. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.